Have you run much uh, math on, on bomb pops? I am the math. <laughs> Transcendent <laughs> math. <laughs> Bomb pot here. Bomb pot. The bomb pot. How much experience do you have in uh, bomb pot? Do you do bomb pot? I've, I've never played a bomb pot before in my life. Bomb pots are. You play a lot of bomb pots? No. No. I played one earlier. Uh, this week. I'm oh. I'm not good at them. Bottom set for Matt here. On a draw, heavy board, potentially with a 9 10, two clubs. Checked through. Oh no, didn't you check through? Why did it, why did it look like I got checked through? Because uh, the camera zoomed into the flop. Yeah, it was usually, like, yeah, it was like, usually means we're going to see another card. Right. Uh, but yeah, checks, uh, checks to Berkey, and Berkey bets here. 4,000 in the middle. So sick. Breaks my heart, too, I think he bets 1,400, and, and pot, Jason does have an open ended straight draw here. He's probably going to yeah, continue. Howard. Jungle. And Jungle called I mean, as well with the gutter. Pot, so. And it's going to be some interesting bomb bomb turns. Yeah. Berkey does not want to see anything in the good middle shit. of the board puzzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never played a bomb Seven or a jack is really yeah. bad. Eight does bring in queen Check. jack. 8,200 here. Effective stacks roughly 40k. Check. And Berkey really checks back. The bomb pod, so. yeah. Gonna have to dodge some rivers, yeah, and that's yeah. a good river for him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna need a good amount of equity just to fight. Yeah. Check. Yeah. Looks like he's just thinking about bluffing here. Yeah, it's a. Uh, it, I don't. Check. I don't know if he would go. Does have a pair, but maybe if if he thought his pair didn't show down, maybe he's bet. Clear bet for Berkey now. <sighs> bet fifty five hundred. Fifty five hundred, and now both players kind of have a candidate to go for a check raise. Folds. Have you run much uh, math on, on bomb pops? I am the math. <laughs> Transcendent math. <laughs> that was a great answer. I am the math. Jungle First, man is the math. Learn the math. Then you Jason's the math. thinking about it, man. Jason, then you become the math. <laughs> yeah. So it's the logical progression. Jason ever just call him? I don't think so. I think he's really thinking about raising. All in? Hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. All in. Wow. Yeah. I mean, wow. it felt, it felt wow. that it felt that, that, that was a possibility. Wow. Sick test. I've never seen such a sick test live actually. Considering, considering like the actual <laughs> top tough spot for Berkeley. Wow. But <laughs> oh man, that's a fucking sick test right there. I don't give a fuck what he has. I don't give a fuck. Yo, we need some more Long Island iced teas out here. <laughs> <laughs> I think Berkey's gonna call we here. We need some more <laughs> Long Island iced teas. I'm not gonna be drinking them. Oh, Christ. I suppose I induced it. Yeah, I think he's gonna call because... Because of that reason right there. Uh, right, Bert did cap his range on the turn. Right, exactly. How much do you have? I was, I was, I was, I was like, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it looks like he has around 40 drinks. 42, 43, 43. It's like fruity and stuff. Oh, yeah, that's the point. That's the point. Like, they put a lot of, like, crap in there to make it sound. Doesn't think Berkey potentially is thinking about it. There's going to be five different types of alcohol in there. Why would my opponent check river after I check turn? He shouldn't expect a bet here too often. No, he's not kidding. No, potentially that's what Berkey's thinking about right now. Yeah, I think Jason knows that too, and that's what might even make this look stronger as well. Yeah, interesting spot for Berkey here. Yeah, I don't see him folding here. Based on like whatever metric you want to use, who do you think loves poker more? Two guys. Okay. Poker. Uh, that's a recreation. Come on. Not, Berkey not did mention. 
poker. <laughs> I just said poker. He only brought a certain amount, really had a certain amount left after last week, so it'd be one big he'd play tomorrow, so maybe that might influence the decision here. Potentially. Uh, I think he did bring 200,000 <laughs> wired in. No, no, I was going to say jungle. For sure, right? I think jungle is jungle. I'm so envious of it. Just thinking through the possibilities here. Would my opponent turn a hand like, <laughs> like Jack X into a bluff? Is this that Bitcoin grind jungle? Oh, I'm kind of grinding it in a little bit. Gotta love Berkey, huh? Thinking about throwing another <laughs> 50 in there and <laughs> partaking in the jungle <laughs> ramblings. Ego call potentially uh, coming in. I'm on an island, man. I'm on an island. <laughs> trying to figure out if I have enough bit to make the call. Island. He loses a spot. He's saying he's trying way. to figure out if he has enough Probably Bitcoin to make this call. Well, given he's never had a drink in his life, I'll take the under. I think this is supposed to be like, you got it, you got it. Uh, but I'm just not sure. I don't know anything about these damn Brits. <laughs> well, there's a country called England. <laughs> and they came here and we came here. I've got a cold read about this. He's trying to talk I'm himself into a fold, but I just don't see him being able to do it. What, they drink I don't think he's talking himself into a fold. Oh, like poker read. I think he's just trying to... I there think it is. He calls. He doesn't yep. have it. I think he doesn't have it. He doesn't have it. Nice call by Berkey. $95,000 pot Matt's way. $50,000 goes Matt's way. Almost. I'm going to have Berkey coach me in bomb pots. Almost makes the comeback here. Only stuck now a little bit of money. Yeah, we're only stuck uh, roughly 10K. Yeah. So that's, that's big. Big hand for Berkey. I was going to say it might be hard for Matt to get unstuck here, but what a great call by him. Yeah, big pot there. Um, wow. Either that's either the biggest or second biggest pot, and now he has a Long Island as well. Oh, this is great. Jason orders the Long Island, uh, takes a slip out of that. Uh, all these guys are just uh, not that manly, I guess. These Long Islands are just, uh, you know, all these guys are not that manly. Just if you if you think you're not that if you think they're not that manly, just uh, fly into the little, fly into Los Angeles, take a seat. Gonna need that Long Island after after <laughs> dusting yeah, away forty thousand like that. And he was playing. He was, he was crushing, man. He was playing great. I know he was and playing great. Just great. like that, no limit hold him. Just brutal. Wow. It's just like you try one thing, versus the guy that never folds. And Cadillac of poker. Yeah. Oh, you, you, what do you think about that? About what? Cadillac of poker. The Cadillac of poker right there. Don't even Looks like, like Jason might. Is that it? Nah, no like, way. That can't be it. He's just stretching, taking no. a walk. Brush off the tilt. Man, big big play there by Jason and big call by Berkey. Wow. And Berkey shoots up the stack. What was the specific reason? What a hand. Yeah, huge pot there. Got one of the players maybe taking a, a break from play right now, Ryan Fee. Ryan Fee of Upswing joins the booth. Welcome, Ryan. Ryan, we see you play right there. I am. Have you cloned me? Are you on a break right now? We're on a break, yeah. yeah. A break. Don't spoil any action, Burke. You just took down a $100,000 pot here when Jason lost his mind a little bit with the Jack-8 on the river. Jason did lose his mind a little bit. Good for him. Unfortunately, did not work out. Good for Burke. Having the boss called off there. How are you enjoying the action so far, Ryan? Uh, it's good. It was a lot of fun. Um, Probably where I belong. Well, yeah, fun. this was this was definitely a, a very interesting nice game. Um, I don't know, how's it how's it been on the other yeah, side? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's like that. Oh, we got a juicy hand that, over I here. I mean, I Matt know. flops the bottom set again. Two hands in a row with, with the pocket with deuces. Pocket deuces here, and Ryan Fee, who's also in the booth, might yeah, give a little bit of insight like into uh, what his thought process is. Sure. So Berkey raises a little gun to 500. Queen it off in the big one. Got a big anti out there. Very good word. That's the second word pulled out of Well. For Whoa. my hand, not not <laughs> not for you. <laughs> not given not given what Berkey has. Right, for sure. Check uh, call the flop. Seven improves your range over Berkey's. It does indeed. And you choose to check Berkey. Oh, he's gonna bet here. He goes for a bet. A little bit concerning, but still have a very strong hand. He can't really consider folding. Alright, yeah. yeah. Berkey's gonna be barreling potentially his sixes, some of his spades, etc. Uh, and now you choose to call. A river is Ooh. and a tough river for me, especially given the way that I choose to play this hand. 
I can see, uh, I mean, you should expect Berkey to be checking back rather often, so leading here is definitely not out of the question. It's going to be very in the question. <laughs> leading is in the question. What's he thinking about? He's looking. What are your logical bluffs, though? It's hard, kind of hard to find. I have a couple spade hands. Could yeah. turn a seven or five into a bluff. Yeah, for sure. Pocket six is whatever. Wow. wow. Double pot by Ryan Fee here in the booth. Tell us, wow. tell us your, tell us your I honestly <laughs> came over just to see this hand. <laughs> wow. Oh, this is amazing timing. Um, wow. Berkey, yeah. can you, you imagine Berkey gets a bottom set twice, two hands in a row. He's down $66,000. Finds a way. The next hand, he makes a full house. I also believe, by the way, I believe this graphic is incorrect. I believe I actually have about 30000 so maybe I forgot to. Yeah, that makes sense, uh, especially if you find a way to fold. Yeah. Well, just see what happens. Yeah, just for see sure. what happens. Yeah. Ryan Fee here respecting oh the, the, the integrity of the game. By he already told us what happened. <laughs> wow. Best fold in a flush? That is pretty bad. I was really. I want to see Ryan's reaction when he gets shoved down here. And Bernie wow. stops it. And yeah, well, you're right. Not and feeling and great here. Because he had top set. Does not snap call like Antonio did. <laughs> Yeah, what you said it was a jack on the turn. Wow. You had the nuts and you folded them up. So what what are your thoughts now? You're uh, obviously this is one of your said, yeah, better hands. Oh, eight six. Eight six. I think it's eight six. Uh, oh my God. yeah, this is one of my better hands. A lot of the ages the same. I mean, he's kind of wrapping a boat. Maybe ace eight suited. Um, you know, not a ton of combos, but uh, I expect him to have twos and fives. Maybe uh, can he have eight seven suited? Um, yes, eight seven of hearts, right? Um, yeah, you could certainly have those hands. Uh, it wasn't for a little bit. Uh, I think it's a spot where I don't actually call or fold all of my eights. So you got to figure out a way to, uh, you know, in those spots, what do you do? How do you how do you discern whether or not you're supposed to call or fold when a lot of your hands have similar value? A kicker could play a role. A kicker could play a role. But I go a different direction. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. All right. Can Ryan make the fold here? He's been making the right decisions. So far tonight. I mean, all right, fucking good job. You fucking. Ryan, are you someone that looks potentially for? Uh, I know that your like your camp obviously doesn't look for tells or anything like that. But are you maybe in one of those like in these close decisions? Does that sway you any any bit a little bit? We're not looking for tells. We're looking for coins. All right, we're looking for a coin, and this is how we're gonna decide. Hats was a call. It was tails. That was it. Ryan makes the right fold. Get off the hook nice and cheap. So. Unexploitable.